Welcome to a game called Sleep Stream, and this game will be linked in the description below. And if it's not there, feel free to join me in the comments below. Also, uh, how's the mic sounding? Is it, um, crackling like, uh, last time or, uh, the time before that? Yeah, I think it was the time before that, or with the, uh, video about the, um, hmm, with the Necromancer's Revenge. Yeah, that one. Oh well. It is what it is. So, uh, what do you say we just get cracking on with this video and stop waffling on about, um, uh, crackling mics? Okay, so let's just, uh, select the character. Hmm. Berserker, Elf Archer, Dancer, and uh, Streamer. Hmm. Let's just go for the Streamer. Why not? Hmm. Right, I was uh, supposed to start uh, that with the space bar. Okay, souls. Um, that's meta progression, and that's achievements. And um, hmm, right, it's uh, out here. Right, WSD to move around, and um, hmm, interaction is uh, space bar along with still cancel lets it as escape. Reroll is uh, the toady key that's uh, above the tab. Hmm, let's just get on with this game. Right, and yep, it's one of these uh, standard top-down shooters, I guess. And oh hey, it has automatic firing, and it ha also has the fun issue of uh, not supporting 16 by 10 monitors. You know, like my laptop is 16 by 10, and it's just straight up not supported since uh, this is uh, full screen. So, um, I think that's an issue that the dev will have to get around to fetching, because I can't really do anything about that. Hmm. Uh, when it's, uh, comes to games like these, it's always attack speed. Hmm. Flaming blades, spawns fire pits that deals damage over time, 130% weapon damage, uh, some damage on this attack for the hunting ads, hard hitting. Piercing arrow plus three per piercing on as a tat. Again, with uh, games like these, you want piercing as well as a tat speed. Anyway, that's a first energy. Hmm. So let's just join some free XP. And, um, uh, move on. Right, and just uh, get rid of the uh, mob that uh, saw the money. Hmm, right, so let's see what now. Yeah, I think I'm gonna have to work on that attack speed so I can get that uh, pistol it turned into a minigun. And that'd be lovely for me. Not necessarily for them, but uh, you know how it is. Hmm, let's see what that does. Okay, so that's uh, that floor done. Ooh, hey, another income. Yoink. Hmm. Throw out the wooden bow, the flamethrower, which sounds like fun, or the hunting axe. I'll take the flamethrower because that sounds like fun. Yoink! And I'll also take the free XP. Hmm. What else can I do? Yeah, I really am just uh, focusing on that gun, aren't I? Hmm. I wonder, can I, uh, nah, I don't think I can afford the, uh, minus five max HP for the Boots of Agility, so, reroll. Hmm, Princess Armor, plus five max HP, plus two income. Boots of Agility, Steel Spear, and, nah. Let's just move on. And dump some money into XP, because I can afford that. Hmm, now let's move on with my shiny new flamethrower. And I see that's working as expected. I really wish the uh, game would register that you have full health and not pick up that health uh, jog. Yeah, that's what this game needs. Is there some way of telling it to not pick up that health jog? Unless you are actually damaged in the health bar. See, it just did it again. Just why? Why do games do that? Hmm. I think I'll finally take some armor this time around, so, um... Yoink! Ooh, hey, Guardians of Balance, or Guardians of Balance. Which one do you think I should go for? Or should I just fit the Acolyte's pistol? 
which is something I actually have, so, um... Hmm... Well, I think I might have screwed that one up. Oh, well. At least I can still sell it uh, for the same amount that I bought it for, so it's not too bad. I think I will take the spiked armor and the guardians of balance and the free XP that the shop is offering. Hmm. Ooh, hey, taser gun. Ultra chilling gun. And I think those both synergize with the uh, gun. Yoink, yoink, and time to move on. Right, and let's just deal with the thing that stole our money from us. So, um, there's that. At least this game seems to be getting easier on me since um, I have all that income growth, so that's good. Hmm, now we're already on uh, floor 17F. I think we're going downwards. Yeah, I think we are going down. So I guess uh, decreasing that number is a good thing. And increasing the enemy's kills is also a good thing. And there's a level. Survived it without taking much damage. Huh. Select an artifact. Bow symbol. Plus one bow trait. Plus 10 max HP. Discount coupon. Minus 25% equipment price, but uh, minus 12 income. I don't think I want to do that. Super fast. Plus one agility trait. Plus 30% attack speed for 3 seconds in casting character skill. Yoink! I'll take the super fast. And let's just grab some XP. Hmm. Divine Shield. Plus 15 HP regen for 10 seconds at the start of the battle. Yeah, I don't think that's worth it. So, um, I'm just gonna dump everything into XP. And unlock that final slot for, uh, the taser gun. And just put it in. And yep, it is synergizing. Right well. Hmm. Ultra chilling gun, plus sweet piercing. Nah, I think I'll take the training bow for now. On to floor 16. Hmm. And cast a character skill, and, and that's not available. Hmm. Let's see now. Okay, so let's uh do the uh, character skill. Thanks for the donation. And um, hmm. Well, at least I'll say one thing about this game is that the floors are rather short, so I guess that's good if, uh, you're at work or something and you need something to do on the toilet. And I guess there's this to do. And you have a steam deck or a uh, handheld or something like that. Hmm. 50% immediate... Bleh. 50% immediate HP recovery. Plus one evasion. Plus five armor. I think I'd continue on on the armor train, so yoink. Hmm, short bow, does it synergize with the gun? No, it doesn't. Hmm. I need that list would synergize uh, pretty well with the taser that we have, since um, that has lightning trait and this boosts uh, the lightning trait. So, um, I think the Guardian of Balance is gonna have some go. And yoink the lightning necklace. And buy some free its P. Hmm. Let's see now. Ultra chilling gun. All right, I was gonna save that one for the um the level six slot of the weapons. Oh, combining three of the same equipment will evolve the equipment that to the next level. Now I feel like an idiot for not seeing that sooner. Oh well, this is what I get for not reading. I never said my reading comprehension skills was the best, but no oh well. So let's just re-roll. Wait, I'm 16. Yoink. Hmm. Does that synergize with the gun? Yes, it does. Yeah, I guess we're going for guns only in this uh, playthrough. So, N16, get in here. Hmm. What else to do? Uh, nothing here that I want. That's that, that wooden bow, but I don't think I'm going to be using this wooden bow anymore. Oh, hey, another Acolyte's pistol. Hmm. Spiked armor. 
Any more anti pistols? Any? Oh, hey, another taser. Sniper rifle? Nah. Nothing here. Nothing here. And nothing. Oh, hey, another plane car. Hmm. Oh dear. I guess this is gonna be the part of the. And another plane car. Now it's a uh, level two. So let's go play around with the level two weapon for the flamethrower. Hmm. And yep, that do be uh, popping enemies like left and right. All right. So let's see the donation still. And um, I don't think that really did anything this time around. Oh well. Hmm. Let's try that one again. Okay. What does that still even do? If anything. Hmm, I'll take some more attack speed, please, and thank you, game. Yoink! Hmm. Oh. Thanks for the donation. Strike supposed gratitude. Cooldown, 9 seconds, earns 5 to 15 gold. That's what that does. So I guess that answers that question. Hmm, Celestial Echo! I know I've been, uh... You know what, screw it. We're going to change out the M16 for the Celestial Echo. Because that sounds like fun. And so you. Hmm. And I guess I'm just looking for Ackline's Pistol or, uh... Oh, hey, that's the Ackline's Pistol I wanted. And now that's three shots uh, in a row on the next attack. So that's pretty good. Hmm. Oh, hey, M16 if I wanted that one again, but I don't. Where's the taser gun? Ultra chilling gun, and... You know what, I think I'm just gonna sell the ultra chill chilling gun, to be brutally honest with you. Hmm. Nothing here. Oh, dear. Oh, hey, another flame tower. Let's get that uh, pole going again. Get the free XP. Oh, hey, Taser Gun, finally! I've been looking all over the place for you. Yoink! On to floor 14. And deal with the mold that stole all of our money the last time around. And that's how things are done. Yeah, the floors don't seem to be more than, uh, like 30, uh, 35 seconds. And there's a bit of a mini boss here. I should be able to just stay out of the range of it and just, uh, deal with the mini boss pretty quickly, too. So I guess, uh, there's that. And, um, yeah, mini boss defeated. Or is that a, uh, actual boss? And the DPS is going way up. And I like to see that. Because DPS is how we stay alive sometimes in these games. Also with health regen. Hmm. 2% lifesteal. That sounds like fun. Yoink! Okay, so, what are we working on now? I guess, uh, spiked armor. And maybe that, uh, Celestial Echo. Oh, hey, there's a flamethrower. Hmm. Oh, I just realized that I'm gonna have to find three, uh, flamethrower ones to upgrade it into flamethrower two. And then do that again. And, um, I wonder if it's even worth the money. Probably not. So probably only just worth the bragging rights, to be brutally honest with you. Hmm. Nothing here. Nothing here. Nope. Not a. Oh hey, Celestial Echo. I'll take that. Thank you very much. Oh hey, a Healy's Ring. Ring plus 10% HP recovery after battle plus 9 HP regen. That sounds like fun for me. So yoink. Get in the bag. Hmm. Gem in the earth. Nah. There was a lightning necklace, so, um... I really wish there was something to un undo that roll, but oh well. It is what it is. Ultra chilling gun, eh. Sniper rifle, ooh hey, another flamethrower. Well... Let's, uh, save the Celestial Echo for, uh... Later and just get two flamethrower twos. That sounds like fun for, uh, me. So, um, uh, yeah, we're gonna see how well that plays out in the next floor. 
Well, they do flame tower Tuesday, and apparently it's uh, going pretty well for us since I've got uh, both flame towers. Um, I've been firing. Hmm. They're rather slow on the reload, though. So, um, I think that's an issue. As long as we stay on our uh, feet and just not run into enemies and stay out of the way of their line of fire, we should be fine. Well, that's that flooring taken care of. Budget falls ping. Plus one growth trade permanently, plus four damage after battle, minus 20% damage. Hmm. Plus one dragon trade, plus one HP recovery when casting your weapon steel. That sounds like fun. Oh, hey, another Celestial Lacto. Okay, so Mr. Flamethrower, you are going back into the bad, and Celestial Lacto, you are coming back out. Hopefully you got- oh, I guess the cooldown goes way up for the weapons when you have to upgrade them, so there's that to consider. And it's also rather free XP. Hmm... Grenade Launcher. Deals explosive damage, uh... Damage, uh, 150%. Where have you been all my life? Get in the bag. Hmm... Well, I guess I'm gonna be saving the flamethrower, um, the grenade launcher for, uh, next time, cause, uh... I need, uh, four more XP if I'm doing the math threat, uh, to... Move up to level, uh, six, so I can unlock this slot and put the grenade launcher in there. Onwards and upwards. Or rather, onwards and downwards, it, as it is in this game, since, uh... You're going down a tower, not up a tower. Hmm. And, uh, do I have the... Skill, yep. So I just uh, always fire off that skill whenever you can. Cause that's just free money. And free money is always a good thing. Hmm. Let's see now. Right. Oh boy, here comes a thumbnail opportunity. Or rather it was. Hmm. I'll take the plus that's income. And I just uh, buy two XP and put the grenade launcher in that we bought last round. So now I can play around with that one. So that should be fun to do for me. And hit the reroll. Hmm. Nothing here. Acolyte's pistol. Let's get that train going again. Embrace the green man. Oh, yeah, another Acolyte's pistol. Where are all the Acolytes Pistol? You, Acolytes Pistols, where are you? I kinda need you for this. Oh, hey, healing. Oh, bam, healer's ring. I'll take you. And, um, another Celestial Acto. We're gonna take that next time because we're broke. Now we really are broke. Okay, let's uh, get the money back for the, uh, Whatever that was. Hmm. Oh yeah, the mall. Oh hey, here's a boss. Let's take the th thumbnail screenshot. Yep. Okay. Firing out that skill was not a good idea. Luckily, we seem to be built uh, well enough to uh, survive this new boss encounter. And so far, that theory seems to be proving uh, proven correct. And um, there goes a the boss. So yeah, Gigi Noreen boss. And that's level completed, without me dying. More attack speed, please. And we did a lightning necklace. Hmm. Just two celestial electros straight in a row. Hmm. And there's the acolyte's pistol. Hmm... Lightning Necklace, um, let's see what we can do so we can get, uh, rid of, uh, those slots and another Sprite Armor. And get the free XP. Anything here? Nah. Nope. Nope. Nada. Zip. Well, I suppose that flamethrower, but I don't think I want to go past, so... You know what, maybe I do. So that's up to you. And just move on to floor 10. You think this would be a boss uh, level 2, but um... Who knows, maybe it is. 
Yep, it's a boss level. Because I guess the game is just going to start throwing boss after boss at us and trying to get us uh, a game over. Unfortunately, it's not working out for the game so far. Mostly because of these, because of these Celestial Echo. And that's what's uh, popping off the, all the healing, along with all the uh, healing jars on the floor, so that's uh, coming in handy. But seriously, we can just face the boss at this point. Thanks to all the regen that I have. Hmm. Maybe it went uh, a bit too hard on the regen, but oh well, I'm not complaining. Devil survived! Didn't kill the boss, so... Let's get some more max HP. Plus sets, by the way. Hmm... Yoink! Oh hey, healer's ring! So that is now level 2, plus 18 HP recovery after battle, plus 16 HP regen, that's gonna be strong! AF, so let's see the stats. Hmm, HP regen, 16, and that's 0.8 HP per second. And, um, damage dealt. Hmm. Let's see, two old chilling guns. Um, nah, let's just re-roll. And, uh... Do I want to do this fight the uh, armor again? Nah. I want to focus on the weapons. Like this, the taser gun. And that's another Celestial Echo. How convenient. And, um, that's another Acolytes pistol. Where have you been? Let's not do, because I'm completely broke. Can't even afford to reroll. So yeah, welcome to the next floor. 42 seconds on this floor, by the way. And things are starting to ramp up in difficulty, so let's up all the power leveling I was doing, uh, helps out quite a bit. Hmm, maybe I should just go at Lion's Pistol next time. If there is a next time, let me know if you want to next time in this comments below. Speaking of which, like, comment, and subscribe if you want to support this channel in the algorithm. Because apparently asking for uh, engagement is mandatory in these videos, so I guess I'm gonna just go with the flow on that one. I think that's how that's done? Oh well, it is what it is, so let's fire out the ability. And, um, yeah, don't really like how that ability just, uh, pauses you. in movement. So I hope that, uh, ability comes with a bit of the invulnerability of frames. Hmm. Plus it's match HP per weapon, equip. Bargain Hunter, 40... Percent damage bonus for common, uncommon, rare equipment, minus 8 damage for epic and legendary equipment. Considering all I have is common, rare, and uncommon, I think I'll take the Barden Hunter. Hmm. So, you want the, uh, Acolyte's Pistol? Now I just need to find on the Acolyte's Pistol again. And you want the free XP. Hmm. Nah, I don't think I'm gonna level up uh, any more armor. I'm just focused on the on uh, weapons. So, where is though? Where are the weapons? Game. Oh, hey, another Acolytes pistol. Hmm. Celestial Echo, but um. You know, let's just focus on the, uh... Acolyte's Pistol, so goodbye Taser Gun and goodbye Flamethrower. And, uh, hmm. Let's buy you. Knowing my luck, it's gonna spit out, uh, Flamethrowers and Flamethrowers and Flamethrowers and nothing but Flamethrowers. Marksman Rifle, nah. Just set the Barton, uh, Hunter. So, um, I just want the common, uncommon, and rare, so... Sorry, but, uh, I'm gonna pass up on, uh, Epic and Legendary today. Cause that's how I've, uh, set up this character. And I just, just realized I'm broke. So let's buy the XP. And that's another inventory slot. So, one, two, four, eight. Hmm. And let's get rid of the mole so I can get my money back. So, mole, you better get my money back. 
from the last level that was uh, still there, and um, okay, I got that money back. So that's good. I really, I really need to start it rapidly increasing my HP regen, if anything. I don't think I build strong enough anymore. Hmm. Or maybe I just need to rapidly increase my DPS. So, Dave, if you're gonna give me uh, attack speed upgrades, uh, now would be the proper time to do so. Or, just, or maybe it's just staying uh, on my toes and not uh, being in the way of enemy attacks. Yeah, that's probably the more likely way of surviving this game. That's why I've stayed alive though, all this time. And that's that floor completed. Yoink. Hmm, plus 9% pickup range. I'll take that. Daisy gun. Yeah, I think I already sold all my Taser gone, so, um, that's awkward. Nothing here, let's take the free XP. Nothing here. Hmm, oh hey, Celestial Echo. I just need one more of those. Oh hey, an Acolyte's Pistol. Okay, please calm down and aim your guns the other way, and I probably got an achievement for that. Yeah, I did. Sophisticated increases trick chance, trick damages increase for sophisticated trait weapons, plus 5% lifesteal, and plus 1 fire trait, which is, um, fire trait weapons have 30% chance to spawn a fire print that lasts 3 seconds. Increases mass HP, and it should be a space in between the 3 and the seconds there, Dav, so, um, hmm. That sounds like fun. Hmm, nothing here. So that Acolyte's Pistol is uh, fully upgraded. Nothing here. Hmm. Gatling Gun sounds like fun, but I already said I'd pass up on the Legendary and the Epics. Flamethrower. Two of them, even. Oh, hey, another grenade launcher. And nothing. On to floor seven. Huh, when did I take so much damage? Or maybe that's, uh, the increasing my, uh, HP per floor, uh, pinging, kicking in. Okay, time to stay on my feet and just not take any damage. Hopefully I can do that. If not, uh, hopefully I can just face tank it with all the, uh, healing that's on the floor. Oh, hey, here's a mini boss floor. So, um, that's, uh, that thingy with the health bar. That looks like a mini boss. Two mini bosses, even. Maybe they're just straight up full size bosses, even though I can't really tell them that. Hmm. I'll take plus two speed. And the free hit speed. You know how that goes. Always take the free hit speed when it's up being offered. Oh dear. It's gonna be nothing but uh, legendaries and uh, rares, isn't it? Hmm, this isn't uncommon, but it's not anything that I need. Or want. Hmm. I just need a flamethrower. Where is the flamethrower game? Oh, hey, grenade launcher. That is now level two. Hmm, nothing here. But maybe I should uh, switch out the spike timer for the uh, iron suit. Just because it would boost the uh, gun and the explosion trait weapons uh, ranges by 10% and provide plus 10 armor. Yoink! Nothing here. Oh, where? Oh, where is the other Celestial Echo that I need? You, Celestial Echo, where are you? Hmm, Taser Gun. Yeah. You, Celestial Echo. And I'm broke. No Celestial Echo to report. Onwards to floor six. And let's deal with them all. And get the money back that we didn't manage to collect from the last floor, because I guess that's the uh, mole's purpose is to uh, collect all the money on the floor that you didn't collect, and then give it to you on the next floor. 
Okay, let's deal with that boss. And that boss completely went to shock. Hmm. Right, so let's see now. Right, let's just walk into enemies and just face tank the damage, because um, that's always a smart decision. Except that uh, I actually had the regen to actually do that this time around, so um, I guess that's uh, something else. Hmm. Probably should have touched the piercing uh, weapons. Oh well, it is what it is. And that's the floor. And there goes all the gold to the mall. And I'll take the plus that's income. Ooh, hey, flamethrower. Hmm. Plus high trade, high street weapons have a chance to freeze enemies for two seconds to deal additional damage, increases armor. Plus 25% max HP, minus 50% to attack speed. Yuck. No thank you, game. Yeah, or plus 30% damage, minus 12 the range. Uh, I think I'm gonna go for the ice street because I think it's funny to put the ice street on a flamethrower, which is a fire tree weapon normally. Hmm. Yep, fire and ice. On the same weapon. I'll take the free XP, please and thank you. Hmm. Where, where is the... Celestial Antos? Oh dear. Hmm. I guess I'll tell you when I find them. Didn't find any Celestial Antos, but I did find two Taser Guns right in a row. Wonder what the odds are on that one is. No, uh, Celestial Antos, uh, to report, but I did find an Iron Suit. We're gonna work on that, uh, if I can't find any more, uh, Celestial Antos. Hmm. No, seriously, where are all these Celestial Antos? Game. Where are they? Okay. No Celestial Antos to report. So, um, we're moving on. And pretending that episode never happened. Okay, let's deal with the mimics around, because um, that's what those chests are. Because I'm pretty sure those are mimics that... Those teeth on the chest uh, sure look friendly. Said no one ever. Hmm. Let's see now. Sure, let's just uh, face tank uh, the enemies and just walk right into them. But hey, at least the uh, ice raid on that plane tour is sure coming in handy right now. Because seriously, it's uh, stunning the bosses for a few seconds, which uh, is rather important in boss fights like this. Hmm. Uh, amongst other things. Yeah, it's also important for dealing with other enemies. So I guess that's uh, both bosses uh, dealt with. And there's another boss. Didn't manage to deal with it. Minus 40% weapon damage for the greedy. Plus 1 rich trade, plus 5% damage for 100 gold. If only you even showed up earlier. Versatility. Plus 5% damage uh, percentage activated. Or avoided tendencies. Plus 15% evasion. That sounds like fun. And let's grab the Celestial Atro that I was looking for. Hmm. You know what, I think I'm gonna take this place to uh, trade just for the quick chance on that uh, Celestial Echo. So that's fully upgraded. And it's also going to free its speed. I'm just looking for grenade launchers. Oh dear. Uh, hmm. Let's see now. Right, um... Grenade launchers, that's what I'm looking for. I guess I'll come back with the grenade launches. Or, um, maybe I won't find any grenade launches. You'll find out either way. No grenade launches, but I did find three marksman rifles. Hmm. Would it be worth it? Uh, nah. I'm set up for the, um, uncommons, uncommons, and rares. Not, uh, effects or legendaries. Mm, that's just minus 8% damage. Hmm. Nah. Not worth it. Oh hey, grenade launcher. And iron suit. That is now level 2, plus 18% range for guns, explosion traits, weapons, plus 18 armor. Don't know what that, um, 
aborted burp was, but oh well. Hmm. And now I'm broke. Next floor, please. And um, let's just uh, instant kill that mole. Because, um, yeah, why not? Oh, hey, it's a boss floor. Yeah, it's just been nothing but boss floors and boss floors after um, floor 10, I think. Because the game just loves throwing bosses at you now. And I think this is a proper boss, even though I'm pretty sure I'm way over leveled for this. Because, uh, yeah, I can just face change the floor. No issues. Hmm. And there goes a the boss. And that's another chest to me, bad. You know what? I'm gonna take this seven armor. And a healer's ring. Hmm. Oh. I'm at 38% less damage. 61 armor is uh, what you need to do that. And I'll take the free XP. And we're just with the quest uh, for the grenade launchers. Hmm. Yep, I said grenade launchers. That's what I'm gonna focus on. Oh, hey, grenade launcher. Yoink! Hmm. Where, where is that grenade launcher? Hmm. I'll take the healing green. No grenade launcher, though. Oh, dear. Oh, hey, there's a final grenade launcher. I'm broke. Thanks for that, game. Let's floor, so I can remedy the whole being broke uh, issue. And I need my legends, another boss floor. How lovely. Yep, called it, another boss. And it's even tougher than last time, and I think this is a reused boss. Yeah, they are reusing the uh, boss assets. Oh well, it is what it is. Hmm. Yeah, it's probably just gonna be a snooze fest of a fight because of my HP uh, regen factor and the armor uh, factor. Because seriously, I can just stand here and just uh, not die. See? They're not doing enough damage uh, to me to even uh, be worth uh, dodging right now. He says as uh, he takes a uh, ton of damage uh, right there, but um, it's quickly healed. And that's the floor. Plus 4% in attack speed, please. And another grenade launcher. Yoink. Hmm. And I'll take that. Thank you very much, uh, game. Oh, dear. And I'll also take the 3 XP, please. Time to find that out. Uh, two more grenade launchers. No grenade launcher, but I did find a rocket launcher. Hmm. Maybe next time. If there is a next time, that is. Who knows? There might actually be a next time. Bad news, gang. No grenade launcher to be found anywhere except for this one. Next floor. Hmm. And I should be fine, because uh, this is one of those uh, 46 seconds uh, floors, or at least they're about. Yep. And it's just boss after boss after boss. How are you using, using the same assets? Because seriously, you couldn't just hire a couple of artists off of Fiverr to design uh, boss assets for your game dev? Hmm. Oh well. It is what it is right now. Can't really do anything about it. Two. Oh hey, another boss. Or at least a mini boss, and let's uh, fire off the character shield because I completely forgot to do that because I was uh, apparently having too much fun stomping around the map and just slaughtering everything in my path. Because that's a fun aspect of these games. Okay, that's that mini boss dealt with. And that's the floor. Plus five armor, please. Let's try and find the uh, grenade launcher right after I claimed my free XP. Hmm. Lots of legendaries now. But, uh, no grenade launchers. Oh dear. Hmm. Yeah, I guess this is a problem with doing uh, one weapon only uh, runs or just trying to find a particular weapon uh, in these kind of games. Is It's just so RNG reliant. And you never end up. Uh, doing it, he says, as he finds the, um, one of the weapons. I just need to find the other grenade launcher. Don't even know if I'll get around to it this, uh, game. Hmm. Yeah, they really need, 
the game really needs to give us more options for the shop instead of just four. Hmm. It's either that or give us some way of, uh, just having access to all the weapons at once. Like that one supermarket mod, uh, for Brotato. Hmm. Nothing here, nothing here. Nothing here. Eh, nope. Nada. I'm broke. Floor one, please. Because we are right at the exit of uh, this game. And I think I've seen everything uh, that this game has to offer right now. At least on this character. Oh dear, that's the end game boss. And I seem to be able to just face tank it. He says as he takes a uh, big hit to himself. Okay, let's fire off the donation uh, skill. But yeah. Uh, I think I went too far with the um, regen and the um, everything else. He says as he, as he can't even uh, take care of the boss. But at least I'll survive, so that's a win. Hmm. He says with 10 seconds left on the clock. So, um, hmm. Yep, just time to walk around and pick up all the heels and, um, that takes care of that. So yeah, that was Sweet Stream. Links for this game will be in the description below. And if you want to support the, uh, channel there will be a link to my Ko-Fi where you can do that for as little as a dollar per month or a uh, dollar per video or whatever. There's also an Amazon affiliate link uh, that's pointed at the laptop that I currently use right now to record these videos so um yeah if you want to support the channel uh, the affiliate links uh, there's that. It doesn't uh, cost you anything extra. You can also just uh, do your regular shopping on Amazon uh, through that link if you want and get whatever you want. I'm not your dad. So, um, yeah, I guess I'll see you in the next one tomorrow at 4.30 p.m. Mountain Time, US, because, uh, that's when I post. Bye!